assalamu alaikum students today we are going to read a chapter khyber pass and the learning outcomes are that you will be able to know about khyber pass you will be able to use new vocabulary words and you will be able to answer the required questions first of all we will discuss the vocabulary of this chapter the first word is conqueror the meaning is someone who has conquered a country or its people in easy words if i say the meaning can be winner or someone who wins something the sentence is alexander the great was a conqueror who dominated greece egypt and persia next word is caravan caravan is a group of people with vehicles or animals who travel together for safety through a dangerous area especially across a desert on camels in older times we had camel caravans people used to carry things their stuff on camels they used to sit on camels and they used to put their stuff on camels nowadays as technology has developed so much we have uh, buses trains and other things but at that time in khyber pass as well they are talking about camel caravans so the sentence is it is an important center for caravan routes and has a considerable trade next is bales bales means bundles you can also see it in the picture i sat on a bale of straw near the fire this is the last word of this chapter and the word is track track means route a narrow track wound steeply up through dense forest here i have put a picture of khyber pass as well it Khyber Pass is a narrow mountain valley about 50 kilometers long. At one side is the famous city of Peshawar and on the other side is the frontier par part of Turkham. And uh, you know that it's very old like thousands of years old. The Khyber Pass is famous for Aryans because they used to cross it to enter in Pakistan. And uh, it is also a famous trade route as well camel caravans used to pass through it to carry goods from india and china to afghanistan and beyond and they used to brought goods to india and the countries of east and traders still use this route the route, the trade is now carried on mostly by trains and trucks so it it is today as well it is famous as busy trade route and uh, when you will read the chapter you will be able to know more about it so i want you to read the chapter now and if there are any, are any questions you are welcome to ask and then do the assessment exercise thank you